Hi, my name's Chris. I'm with the customer success team at Xano. And today I'm gonna talk to you about a brand new feature. It's a filter called Create Object From Entries. This is going to allow you to take a set of data that looks like this. So we have an object with some key and value pairs in it, filter through that, and then return a new object with only the data that we want. This can be useful if you have, let's say a third party API that you're calling, and sometimes it returns blank values. This is a good way to get rid of those super quick. Okay, so I have an example function here that I'm going to use to show you this new filter. Our input is just a random JSON for this example, but for you it could be a third party API response, for example. And then in my function stack, I'm just taking that JSON, I'm applying a few filters to it, and I am returning that result. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to disable this part of my function stack. And I'm just gonna show you the data that we're working with right now. So if I click run and debug, you can see here is my input. We have several values in our object here, uh, but two of them are empty. So of course, if I run this, this is what I'm returned, which is just the value of the input right now. But let's dive into the function and see what we can do with this here. I definitely want to get rid of those empty values. I'm essentially going to take each one of those values that you just saw, I'm going to separate them into a new list of keys and values. So the keys are going to be your A, B, C, D, E, F, G in this example, and then the values of course are the one, two, three, five, and six. So in my function, we're gonna separate those into separate keys and values. We're going to filter out the empty ones back into a single object. So I'm going to take you through those one at a time. So the first filter that we're applying is called entries. And what this is doing is this is getting the property of entries of an object or array as a numerically indexed array of key and value pairs. So let me show you what that means. We are iterating through that entire list and we are separating it into uh, separate objects of those keys and values. So again, this is the data that we're inputting into this function. And if I run this, you can see it has been separated each into its own individual object with a key and a value. The next filter that we're adding is called filter empty. And what this is going to allow us to do is to return a new array with only entries that are not empty. And we need to specify a path in this case. And the path is just essentially which piece of those objects are we going to be removing? In this case, we are going to be removing the values. So I'm gonna type in value right here. Click update, and then we'll save this, and let's take a look at what that looks like. So now we still have our array of objects with each of those keys and values separated, but you can see that our objects with empty values have been removed. And now I'm going to show you the brand new filter that we've added called create object from entries, which is going to take all of this and consolidate it back into a single object. And now I'm going to add one more filter called create object from entries. You can see it says it creates an object based on an array of key value pairs. So if I click this and update and then save this one more time and we run and debug, so you can see we now have a brand new single object with only the keys and values that have values specified in them. A super easy way to quickly filter out empty values from an object. Hopefully this helps and you're able to make use of this new filter. Definitely leave a comment down below if you have any questions. Make sure to join us on the Xano community as well. Otherwise, make sure to like and subscribe for more Xano content and we will see you in the next one.